Behold the Subaru BRZ. It's a back-to-basics rear-wheel drive sports car with a flat 4 boxer engine, producing 200 horsepower and 205 newton meters of torque. And by back to basics, I mean really back to basics. Starting with the exterior, magigita mong napaka simple niya lang. I also think this looks a bit better than the Toyota 86, though I do think it lacks some of the emotional appeal of the Mazda MX-5. A facelift has given the BRZ more LED lighting elements. But that's about the modern amenities that this car has. Pagpasok mo sa loob, ganun din. Super simple niya lang. It only has a simple radio. A far cry from the Mazda MX-5's Mazda Connect infotainment system with an optional Bose sound system. And while it's easy to bemoan the fact that there's no fancy infotainment system or any other luxurious appointments with this car, that's not exactly the point of the Subaru BRZ. And even the Mazda MX-5 for that matter. Isa lang naman ang dahilan kung ba't mo gusto ng ganitong sasakyan. And that is, to enjoy the pleasure of driving. You have two transmission choices, either a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. The 6-speed automatic delivers quick and smooth shifts. But it'd be a shame if you got rid of the third pedal. Because with the paddle shift automatic, you just flick a paddle if you want to upshift or downshift. Easy. <laughs> but with the manual, you always feel alert and your senses are heightened. And then there's the car's engine noise. It really is intoxicating. So in terms of the engine's performance, most of the peak torque and peak horsepower is at the higher RPM ranges. Which means that you really need to rev the engine hard if you really want to make some progress when overtaking and all that stuff. And that's basically the point of the Toyota 86 and the Subaru BRZ. It's really meant to be revved hard so that the engine will fill the cabin with noise and will really intoxicate everyone with such a pleasurable engine note. And at the same time, give you a level of involvement that isn't even seen on some cars that are priced much higher. <laughs> This car is really a lot of fun. And the good thing about the Toyota 86 and the Subaru BRZ is that you don't really need to go through dangerous high speeds in order to enjoy this car. As in, even at legal speeds, the car is really enjoyable to drive. This is mainly due to the fact that the Subaru BRZ doesn't have a lot of sound insulation. Most modern cars nowadays are adding thicker and thicker sound insulation for a much quieter ride. But in a sports car like the Subaru BRZ, the sensation of speed, even at legal speeds, is amplified by the lack of sound insulation. So that's why, that's part of the reason why even at legal speeds, the car already feels fast and you already feel all the elements around you. And normally that would be a bad thing for me in some cars, but in a car like this, that's basically the point. You want to feel all the G-forces, you want to feel the speed, you want to feel all the sensations of driving a sports car. The electric power steering also feels sublime. Talagang nararamdaman mo ang nangyayari sa front wheels, which basically makes you feel more connected to the car. It's also extremely precise and reactive to your inputs. I think it even feels better than the Mazda MX-5 steering wheel. Also, at least in Philippine spec, the Subaru BRZ suspension is a bit stiffer compared to the Toyota 86. As a result, handling is marginally better than the 86, since the stiffer suspension limits body roll even more. On the flip side, ride quality is slightly affected, since the BRZ shakes and rattles more compared to the 86 when going over bumps. As for fuel economy, assuming that's your concern in a sports car, it's actually pretty good. I've been able to average around 8.2 kilometers per liter for the whole time for the whole week that this car was with me. The brakes, the throttle, the steering, the engine note. All of these factors have created a car that feels authentic. It all feels natural and not synthesized by any form of electronics. And with the manual the driver engagement and satisfaction is on another level. And it's why we driving enthusiasts should respect cars like the Subaru BRZ. 
Cars like this simply prove we don't need a lot of horsepower or a lot of speed in order to have fun. All you need is a car that feels authentic, genuine, something that, due to the lack of sound insulation or the fact that everything feels mechanical, driving at 80 km per hour in a Subaru BRZ is just as fun as driving a supercar at 200 km per hour.